Hi, this is Ian Berry. For over 30 years, I've been a mentor for business leaders. I've mentored over a thousand people, women and men, in more than 40 countries. My conclusion is that the future of the human race has much to do with human being centered workplaces. There are six components. The first is about difference making. What do you do that matters? What could you do that would really matter to your family, your friends, your neighborhood, your community, your workplace? Then it's about responsibility. I've been writing about the, the nine components of what I think is, is the keystone character trait of wise leaders. And I'll put, a, I'll put a link to those articles in the blog post that accompanies this video. The third, the third spot is about appreciation. The eminent psychologist, William James, he said that the deepest human craving, so not just any old, old thing, but a, the deepest human craving is a desire to be appreciated. There's lots of things that we can do to appreciate ourselves and also appreciate other people. And I'll put some, some of these ideas and insights into the blog post. The fourth component is about values, behaviors. I hear a lot of talk about values, but mainly, mainly they're just words. And there's really no agreement around what's behavior look like that would mean a living of those values. The fifth component is about conversations. I love that insight from David White. He said that in leadership, the conversation is not about the work. The conversation is the work. I think this is just brilliant insight. And what I've come to realize over the 32 plus years uh, journey of working with folks is that the conversations need to be candid, convivial, compassionate, conscious, and compelling if they're to have impact. We need to end meetings in organizations and start having conversations. The sixth and final component is about life work harmony. It's more than just hybrid. That's, that's really only half the story. There's much more that needs to happen in workplaces that would mean that not only would people feel valued inside those workplaces and live the values and deliver and exchange value, but there's something going on that's contributing to the wider, the wider life of people. Again, I'll put some more in the blog post that accompanies this video. I look forward to hearing from you. I have some vacancies this year. I, I generally mentor a handful of people uh, or organizations each year. There's some vacancies. I'll put some links to how things might work. I think having a mentor is, is one of the keys to building a human being centered workplace. The other key is to belong to a peer group. And I host some of those as well. And I'll put a link in this video that will give you some more insights. You're more than welcome to join us as a guest to see if um, our groups are for you, or if not, I'll put you in touch with other groups. The key is belong to a peer group, but also have a mentor. We'll see you next time.